Okay everyone, so in this video I'm gonna show you my own overclocking and undervolting settings for my RTX 2060. Alright, so the one we're gonna overclock today and undervolt is this one, my Asus RTX 2060. So first I'm just gonna show you uh, the results that we can expect uh, after this video. Alright, so let's check it out. So at the end of this video, we will see that I will have Asus RTX 2060 at 31.65 MHz per second. I have a temperature of 64 Celsius and a power consumption of 74 watts. All right. The fan speed is only 44%, so you can increase that. All right. So let's do this. Okay. So before we apply any overclocking settings and undervolting, we can see that I have this Asus RTX 2060 and we are mining at 27.99 uh, MHz per second right now. We have a temperature of 75 Celsius and the power are at 130 watts. All right, so we're gonna apply overclocking and undervolting settings to get this uh, hash rate higher, the temperature lower and the power lower. All right, and in this video, I'm using the mining software T-Rex, but you can use whatever you like. So let's do this. And also disclaimer, this is just my overclocking settings. You do this at your own risk. Just so you know, I take no responsibilities. Okay, so and because uh, when I'm recording, the results will go down in my T-Rex software. So I will go back and forth uh, with the screen recording and also record with my phone when we want to see true results. All right. So be aware of that. It's not going to be a problem. Yes to no. All right. So let's do this. Uh, if you don't have MSI Afterburner, I'm just going to show you where to find it fast and easy. Just open up a browser and just go to google.com and search for MSI Afterburner burner like so go to this one msi.com click on msi afterburner and just go to this button download afterburner and install it that's it after that you will see this uh, icon msi afterburner just open that up and you will see this uh, interface if you want to have the same interface as i do just go to this one settings and go to user interface go down to this one user interface skinning properties and click on the drop down menu and go down to this one msi mystic afterburner skin by drerex design click on that and we can also change the size of this uh, overview we can do this one skin scaling and just move this back and forth like this until you have the perfect size like so after that just click on apply and click on OK and we are good to go with MSI Afterburner, all right? So first we are gonna go and ramp up our hash rate. So first you need to just choose your right uh, GPU. So in this case GeForce RTX 2060, just click on this arrow and choose it in this list, all right? If you have more than one, make sure to have this uh, checked so you have the same as I do. If I click on this one, uh, this will only apply to uh, one of your GPU, even if they are the same. So if you have the same one, just click on this one so you have equal uh, symbols. So that means if I have two RTX 2060, the settings will apply to all of them. All right. So this will save you a lot of time. And also be aware of click on this Windows icon. So if you restart your computer, the settings will uh, still be intact. So you don't have to do this all over again. All right. So as choose the one in your list, click on the arrow and make sure to have the right one. So GeForce RTX 2060. So we are just going to go and ramp up the hash rate. Uh, we're going to go to memory clock and we're going to add, just click right here in the box and add 800 click on enter all right so we're gonna click on check mark to apply the settings to our t-rex to your mining software so we're just gonna go and have a look on my phone okay so with our memory clock settings of 800 we now get 31.48 megahertz per second so this is a great increase just by changing the memory clock settings. All right, 
So now we're gonna go and change the power limit settings and see what happens with the rest, the temperature and the power consumption. All right, so let's do this. Okay, so now we're gonna go and lower the power limit. So right now we have 100%. I'm gonna go to 78 because this is the lowest I can get. You can try maybe 60% if you can. Otherwise go with 78%. And after that, just go and click on check mark, and we will see what happens in the mining software T-Rex after these results. Okay, so when we lower the power limit to 78, we lower the temperature from 76 to 73 Celsius, and we also lower the power consumption from uh, 136 watts to 160 watts. All right. Still too high, so we're gonna go and change the core clock with the curve editor. All right, so let's do this. All right, so now we're gonna change the core clock, so we're gonna undervolt this uh, GPU. To do this, we're gonna go and click on curve editor, and now we see this uh, voltage right here, and we want to change this. So to do this, you need to hold shift on your keyboard and click on the left on your mouse and hold it in and drag it to the right. As you can see we get this cover and drag it all the way to the right and release. Now click on one of these squares and now click on shift and enter so we can change the settings right here. Right now we have 1515. We're gonna delete this and we're gonna add 1100. And after that just click on enter and now we get this straight line like so. Now we just go up to the top right corner and click on this X and go and click on check mark. All right. And we also have this fan speed. If you don't want to have auto fan, you just uncheck this one and you can choose whatever you like. If you want to have a much cooler RTX 2060. All right. It depends on how noisy you want to have it. I just go with auto fan like that. So now we have all the settings in place. We're just gonna go and click on the check mark and have a look in the T-Rex miner and see the results. And these are the results on my Asus RTX 2060. We have hash rate 31.65 megahash per second. We have a lower temperature. We have 63 Celsius. And also the power consumption is down to 73 watts. So that's awesome. And the fan speed is only 41%. If you want to have a cooler GPU, just ramp that up and remove the auto fan and just add maybe 70%. Okay, everyone, so comment below uh, your own results so we can see what you will get with these overclocking settings. Also, if you like this video and want to see more of these uh, mining videos where I do some overclocking settings and do other type of uh, mining videos, subscribe. And you have an awesome, awesome day. Take care and bye.